It's one year short of 40 years when I bought my first Yotron device, emergency distress signal. I was some 20 years old and it was a strobe light and I thought it was really cool. And 40 years later, it's still working well. It's the AQ4. I thought it was really good to give some emergency signals. Then came the AQ5, a combined uh, torch. And since then I've had loads of emergency uh, signaling devices from Yotron. Uh, this one is an AIS SART and before I had a radar SART, search and rescue transponder, and of course, EPIRBS. And when you are sailing outside the GMDSS area A1, you really have to be aware of that your VHF coverage is not so far as you might think. So as soon as you sail over the North Sea and outside the A1 area, you need another type of um, emergency signaling device. And an EPIRB is really something good. So here I have my EPIRB before I had the Tron 40, this is the Tron um, uh, 60 GPS. And it's in this cover, it has a hydrostatic release unit. So when you open it, you can have a look here, you open here manually. Normally it goes automatically if the boat sinks. So here you have to be careful. And this is the EPIRB. And that sends emergency signals up to the satellites and to the corresponding Maritime Rescue Coordinating Center, MRCC. What you should be doing regularly, five minutes after the full hour, um, to test it. So I do this twice a year. So you push this button to the side where it says test, you wait 15 seconds and then it makes one blink and then it is working. When you have to um, trigger it manually uh, to send distress signals, you pull this device, put it on on, and then it sends a distress signal. But the nice thing is it also goes automatic. As soon as it ends up in the water, these two connect, uh, uh, connections are being in the water, so it then automatically starts the distress signal. So we want to have this automatically done. So it's, it lives in here, and you have this H20 by CM Hamar hydrostatic release unit. So you have to check that everything is in date. This one needs to change battery every five years. The housing has to be changed every, I think, 10 years or 15 years. It says on here when it has to be changed because of the plastic. And the H20 has to be uh, changed every two years. So you look that it's in date. And the idea with the H20 is that it has a knife inside and it cuts this bolt and then a spring pops up. So we can have a look here how this looks. So when that is cut, it pops up with this spring, the air and it floats free. And this is the thing you have to buy new every two years. So you can see it's valid through 2025 because I've just changed it. And um, this one has a bolt and you must buy this original from Yotron because they are the only ones who supply this plastic bolt. Don't ever use another type of bolt because it needs to be weak enough to be cut through by means of this spring. So I'll put this back. So you buy this, close here and put it the right way around. There you go. Put it in and slide it down. Oops. Let me see. It's a bit tricky sometimes. So that washer needs to be on the lower side. This part's been cut, so put it all together. Put the Tron 60 GPS inside its cover here, there. The cover here, like this. Make sure that the bolt is sticking out. There it is. Put it all back in place and it's ready to go. And the old H20, that's what we're gonna test if it still works and see what happens. So follow me testing the H20 in the water. My old one expired from the um, EPIRP. It says release steps one and a half to four meters. So when the EPIRP goes down one and a half to four meters, this should release a knife, cutting the bolt and releasing the EPIRP. So let's see. That should be, let's take it down to some one and a half to four meters. 
so this is so let's see if something has happened it's hydrostatic meaning that it should release by the water pressure i don't know how long it needs to be under water no, it's ungeduldig. well it's cut look at that oh the bolt is cut so no bolt left so the bolt wow. was left cut now it the epir which sits here then releases goes up and sends a distress message after the ship has gone down so it still worked that's good 